so now we are doing the excess opening for the lower molars and here we can do a use a round burr or inverted cone burr for the initial dip so this is a tooth already we have covered it with wax and i had earlier shown the how many roots uh, this is the lower molar so there are two roots with three canals or maybe four canals so now we will make the initial dip uh, i will show you from the side and uh, superficial surface as well so do, we do we should not actually totally put the burr inside we only have to put the burr till the cemento enamel junction of the tooth as i have shown in the part 2 of the video so if we remove the wax i can show you the cemento enamel junction over here so this is the cemento enamel junction this place so you can see how much length it is going inside so we should not go more deeper than this and it's not necessary that you will always get the dip of the burr sometimes we may not get it because of the carious uh, tooth or maybe the roof of the pulp chamber is carious so we may not always get the dip so now i'm removing the carious region So now you can see here I have removed the caries lesion and there is still some caries lesion which is present and we need to remove it fully. So now we have removed the caries lesion. Now next we will use the EX24 burr which I had shown in the previous video. So this is the lesion. This is the caries lesion. Now still I need to remove some more. So this is the EX24 burr and the tip is non cutting tip you can see there is no diamond points in the tip so i will just put it inside and just i will rotate the burr in all the directions So now you can see I have uh, done the excess opening of the lower molar tooth and I will show you the level at what level uh, the canal is found. It is found at exactly at the CJ. So now you can see here initially now I am putting a number 8k file and this is the distal canal. Okay, It is not going this side because you have this floor of the pulp chamber over here. Okay, So it will, it will only go inside the canal. See you can see here okay and you should not push the file into the canal wherever all it is going you have to keep it till here only just you have to see the patency of the canal whether you have got the canal or not now next is the mesolingual canal so this is the mesolingual canal you can see it is just adjacent to the mesobuccal canal so i am just putting it in the mesobuccal this is the mesobuccal so you can see here the angulation the angulation is not like this or not like this it's at a particular angle so this is the mesobuccal canal and each and every file you are going to do the filing or rotary endo in the same direction so similarly for the mesolingual part i will show you once again sometimes we may not be able to see the this is the mesolingual canal where i put my file into and sometimes we are not able to uh, see at what due to the bleeding and all we cannot see the canals but if you maintain it is not visible in patients who are having less mouth opening and all now next uh, this is the distal canal i'll just show you the angulation so this is for the distal approach for the distal canal okay 
So after this, uh, we have to take one X-ray of the particular tooth to know the working length of the particular tooth, or you can use an FX locator in the patient. Okay. So this is the way you should put it inside the canal, like in a watch winding motion. Let's like this, slightly watch winding motion. Then again, mesolingual canal. You should put it in a watch winding motion, like this. This is watch winding. You should not make rotate it like this. Okay. You should always do it in a watch winding motion. Just slight movements. What I do in my practice is after filing with the number eight file, I give copious amount of sodium hypochlorite five percent into all the canals. And before giving that, I place cotton on the lingual side of the tooth, on the buccal side of the tooth, and I isolate the tooth properly. Then only I start the irrigation. So from the very step, beginning step, and many people ask me why there is pain in the second obturation, second sitting of RCT. So the problem is that during the first sitting of the RCT, you have not irrigated well. That's why it happens. If you irrigate properly in the very first sitting, you know uh, there won't be any kind of pain in the second sitting of RCT. So this is the X-ray of the tooth. You can see uh, we have taken the working length, which is around 19 mm. Uh, you can see here that from the distal root, the one file is coming out. That means you need to reduce the working length. I deliberately did that so that you will be able to differentiate it. Ki how to do the so? We have to reduce the length of the the rubber stop is there. You have to reduce the length by using an endo block, which I have already shown you in the previous videos. So you reduce the length, or you can use the apex locator in the patient. This is the traditional way of doing it, and you can recheck with apex locator as well. And you can here skill clearly see the mesobuccal canal and the mesolingual canal. And you can see it's a straight line path is there. File is coming from the opening area and directly it is going through a straight path. So we have to make a clear straight path with the hand files in order to use the rotary file system. So now we'll use number eight. We'll do K filing with number ten, then number fifteen, then number twenty. Then after that we'll be using the rotary endodontics. So after the excess opening of the teeth, uh, what I usually do is I put two drops or three drops of EDTA liquid onto the surface of the canal. So it's not always necessary that the carrier's tooth will be the uh, will be in the middle. Sometimes the carrier's tooth can be on the sides on the proximal area. So if you are a new beginner, what I suggest is first build up the tooth with GIC or composite. After building up. you make the excess opening like this building up means wherever caries is there you remove the caries then you build up that particular area with composite then what i do is i give two drops of liquid edta solution which is easily available in the market so i have just put it so what does it do it softens the dentin and you can easily do the filing with the k files or with the rotary endodontics so this is the number 8 k file and uh, i have already check checked the working length of the tooth is around 18 mm so this is around 18 mm now just we have ins we are inserting in the distal canal so you see the angulation so in watch winding motion just you have to file little bit don't do like this this is a wrong motion many people do are doing like this so what it will do it will cause ledges in the canal so you have to be very soft with your hand your tactile sensation should be at your highest and this is the way you should just file it little bit then again you have to irrigate it with saline or what i use is i use sodium hypochlorite so this is sodium hypochlorite solution i have already kept so i usually use sodium hypochlorite solution initially so that all the canal debris and all the canal nerves will come out with all the infected blood and tissues so after this i do the filing with number 10k file so this is the number 10 file file and we are setting it to number 18 mm so now i am filing with number 10 file as you can see 10 is written here so this is also in a watch winding motion 
you can either do one canal at a time or three canal at the same time so i am showing you just one canal so this is number 10 again you are this is already achieved a straight line access or straight line path okay so now i am free to use the endomotor in the distal canal coming to the mesolingual canal so this is the mesolingual canal so i just put the file eight number file watch winding motion take it out don't do too much of filing otherwise it may cause ledging of the canal if you're filing you have to use now this is a mesial buckle canal i am you see the angulation here watch winding motion take out then irrigate each and every canal properly irrigation now you will ask me how much irrigant we should use for one canal you should at least use 40 ml means 20 times for one canal it's not uh, humanly possible to do so much so at least for 5 to 6 times every canal you should clean with hypochlorite solution after every filing ok so after using those files what I use I use this path file this is a path file of woodpecker company and uh, this is the endometer I am using so I am setting the RPM at 250 and torque at 1 for the beginners you should reduce the torque and reduce the RPM to I think 200 you can take or 0 0.6 so this is the endometer I am using and uh, the, you can see the RPM is 250 and torque is 1 I have already shown the settings of the endometer in the last video so now we are inserting the endometer I am taking the working length over here, it's around 18 mm. So now I have inserting in the distal canal, you can see very smoothly it will go. So this is the first you have to check the patency of the canal. Okay, so this light is coming from the endomotor you have to see so this is the pattern so what we have to do now we have to apply some amount of gel in order to lubricate the canal so this is RC help or AVU prep you can use easily available in the market so just put it like this around the file then insert it So only this much filing you have to do, not more than that. Now into the mesolingual canal, again you have to put some amount of EDTA gel. Then again we have to insert it. So before inserting in each canal, you have to see the measurement working length, which was we have already checked was around 18 mm. Now we are putting in the mesobuckle canal, you can see. Now we will irrigate the canals with sodium hypochlorite solution. While irrigating with sodium hypochlorite, make proper isolation otherwise tissues are going to burn and patient will have difficulties in eating and chewing and he or she will come back to you complaining of pain after irrigation we will fix another file which is 4 person 17 file so after the four, uh, path file we are using the 4 person 17 number file so you can see I, am, I have already irrigated all the three canals so you see it's going inside till the working length of the tooth and then this goes the mesolingual canal and then the mesovocal canal the files we should not re-enter it again and again once we have to enter and take it out that's all Pause. 
now again we are lubricating the file now we are putting it in the distal canal so this is 4% 20 file again we are putting a 4% 20 file inside this is the distal canal see the angulation again you should not cross the mocking length otherwise there will be transportation of the canal means your file will go beyond the apex and the apex will become larger in size patient may have chances of infection this is a mesolingual canal this is a mesobuccal canal so now we will irrigate it you should use lot of sodium hypochlorite while irrigation so now this is the 4% 25 file this is red in color we are we have taken the working length as 18 mm now it's always not necessary to go till 4% 25 if the canal is wide you have to extend it till 6% 20 or you can just keep it to 4% 25 in this case i am only taking till 4% 25 you can see the canals it has widened so nicely so now i'm putting in the distal canal only one time you have to insert and take it out then now it's the mesolingual canal and now we are putting in the mesobuccal canal so this is how you should do the BMP of the tooth in concern and again I have irrigated so after completing all the filing you have to put the master cone and check for whether your obturation is correct or not so I have irrigated it now you have to irrigate each canal with at least 10 ml of sodium hypochloride that means this is 2.5 ml means at least 5 syringes of this after the BMP has completed we have to use 5 syringes of sodium hypochloride of 2.5 ml in each and every canal that means you have to fill it with hypochloride 15 times 5% hypochloride sodium hypochloride which I use in my clinic now we are going to start the RCT of the upper molars before starting the RCT just let's have a quick revision of the K files so these are the 2% K files which we generally use in order to gain a straight line access from the coronal to the radicular pulp chamber so number 8 file is the grey color number 10 file is the purple color number 15 file is the white color number 20 file is yellow and number 25 which is otherwise known as the master apical file is so these are all k files and you can find the numbers at the behind 8 10 15 20 25 moving on to the pro taper file system so the first orange file is the sx purple is s1 white is s2 yellow is f1 and the red one is f2 so sx is the coronal flaring file that is its short in length and the first two files the purple and yellow one are the shaping files and the yellow and the red ones are the finishing files moving on to the rotary files the purple file is the path file the white color file is 4% 17 then the yellow one is 4% 20 and the red one is 4% 25 number file So this is the upper molar teeth and I have already done the access opening. So here we can see, uh, we cannot just we can see a blackish line, brownish border. Uh, and uh, whenever we, do, we are doing the BMP, we have to be, be very careful. We have to start our BMP with number 8 file and with watch winding motion. This is watch winding motion, slowly we have to enter the canal. So this is the mesobuccal canal of the tooth. And see the angulation. We have to give a slight angulation and then we have to insert it in the canal. So this way we have to make a straight line axis. Once you are done with the number 8 file, you should not re-enter it. Rather than you can find the other canal. This is the distal canal which is just lying distal to it. Pass. 
now this one is the distribucal canal you can see it's very thin so again we are entering here with little bit of watch winding motion this is watch winding motion just 30 degree on and off rotation now we have got the patency of the canal take it out and then this is the palatal canal of the upper molar tooth right so what i would suggest as i have suggested in the earlier videos we have to do some coronal flaring so now again we are got we are irrigating it we are irrigating it again and after each filing in order to remove the debris so now i'm irrigating with plain water in the patient's mouth you have to irrigate with sodium hypochlorite 5 percent by isolating the area so after irrigating we have to use the sx file in order to flare the canal or the coronal so how you will use the sx file we have to rotate it 360 degrees and reverse 90 degree 360 90 pull similarly in the distribucal canal so see that this is the angulation for the distribucal canal rotation of 360 degrees reverse 90 degree 360 degree reverse 90 degree and pull and the parietal canal also similarly we have to rotate it 360 degree and 90 degree pull so this way we can enlarge the coronal orifice and start our root canal BMP with different file systems so now we can see little bit visibility has we have achieved now we can after taking the x-ray we can see we can use the number 10 file and we can do clean the file in filing motion just we have to adapt it to the walls and pull motion adapt it to the wall and pull motion Similarly, this is the Mesa Buckel Canal. So, this is the Mesa Buckel Canal. As you can see, little bit of filing. So, all we have to do is make a straight line path. So, this is the Mesa Buckel Canal. Slowly, we have to do and be very careful because we are doing in the patient's mouth so this is the dummy tooth similarly in we have to put it inside the distobacal canal and touching the walls of the tooth we have to give little bit pressure towards the walls in all the directions Now we have inserted the number 15 K file inside the canal and again we have to enlarge the canal and till the working length. So this is the distribucal canal, prepare it to the working length. So while giving pressure to the walls we should give a light pressure like this and hold the file like this and just don't bend the file too much just we have to give light amount of pressure in all the walls suppose now i'm pushing from this direction mesial direction so a little bit pressure then put it inside then from this direction a little bit pressure put it inside so the canal widens and irrigation after every step is very important So now we irrigate all the three canals. How much irrigation we should do? We should approximately use 20 to 25 ml of sodium hypochlorite in each canal. That means around 10 to 11 syringes of 2.5 ml. Ready? So now see uh, the 20 number file is not going inside properly it's not that means the canal has not been prepared till number 15 we need to prepare some more it frequently happens in practice that we try to push the number 20 file ahead of the apex and we give a lot of pressure on the 
file thinking that the file will go inside but will not happen until and unless you have previously cleared the canal with number 15 or the smaller file. So if you put a lot of pressure on this file it will cause ledges in the file or ledges in the canal or it will cause file breakage. So remove it, don't push the file, irrigate it once again. So irrigation is very important. So ir irrigation is very important. Again insert the number 15 file, this is the K file number 15 and we have to do the BMP nicely so that the number 20 file goes inside. So as we can see here we prepared till K file number 20 and uh, this is the mesobuckle canal and uh, this is the distobuckle canal and uh, this is the palatal canal so it was not going initially but again we tr irrigated it properly and uh, we again used the rotary analytic files which I will show you now and uh, after that we are able to gain the potency of the canal so for all beginners what I would like to suggest you initially whenever you are doing the root canal of any particular molar or premolar or any anterior tooth also start with the k files first prepare till number 20 then only you introduce your rotary system so this is freely going inside the canal so i will show you laterally it is freely going so that means the canal has been prepared till number 20 file now we have already can set the working length to 19 and this is my demo endomotor in which i have set the speed for 250 rpm and one torque so initially for beginners i would like to recommend key you use this 250 rpm and one torque usually the company's recommendation is 350 rpm with 1.5 torque but initially if you do with the slow speed then it will be beneficial for you and i have already explained the various files in my first part of the video so in this part you can see here this is the file and uh, here i am again uh, with the same motion i am using you have to use little bit of gel so I am using this 17% gel, uh, so I will just take it in my hand little bit. You can also use the 17% liquid gel which is available and I think the liquid one is more favorable than the, this gel because it very easily goes into the canal. So just introduce a little bit of gel like this. So this is the first rotary file with variable taper and uh, this is I'm going. This is the path file. Okay. So you also get path files of many companies. This is the company Woodpecker I think. And you will get with v VDW or you can also get Densply path files which are very easier to get in the online market. So you can see the canals here nicely and so smoothly I am putting it inside the canal. So this is the distribuable canal. You can see very smoothly it's going. Then again in the music vehicle. Notice I am not putting it straight. I am just giving it, it an angle. Then only it's going see it's not straight i am putting it inside like an angle so in every patient's mouth you have to put in into the in the canal in a various angulation this is the palatal canal okay so that means i'm not putting it too much acute angle i'm just making an angle in the direction of the canal and i am putting it inside the canal like this so this is the palatal canal till the working length of the tooth so after this again we are going to irrigate with sodium hypochlorite solution. We should do copious irrigation with sodium hypochlorite. So this is I am using plain saline. You have to use sodium hypochlorite solution. So each and every canal I am using sodium hypochlorite. So you have to use full syringe 2.5 ml of sodium hypochlorite inside the canal. So again I am putting the saline solution in all the three canals. Next we jump over to the next file system. So now I am moving to the next file system which is the 4% 70 number file. What we had prepared earlier with the purple file was variable taper. It was a variable taper file which contains both 2% and 4%. So now this is 4% 17. So I am enlarging the canal slowly. Already we have done the filing with number 20 file. So the 
in this file will be much more easier to go in thin and edited canals we have to use a file whose number is 4.15 this is 4.17 that will be much thinner file but since this is an adult patient this file is easily going inside the canal and this is the mesobuccal canal again this is the distobuccal canal again see the angulation and again this is the palatal canal so we have to introduce only once and take it out never introduce your file inside the canal and then you start your endomotor this has high chances of the file binding with the, with the canal walls and cause fracture of the instrument so just put it like this only once and then take it out till the working length so now i am again cleaning the canals nicely So now this is the 4% 20 number file which is the color coding is yellow and uh, I apply a little bit of EDTA gel then I put inside the canal this is my palatal canal so smoothly it's going now second one is the mesobuccal canal then I am putting in the distobuccal canal so now the canals have been prepared so the mesobuccal and the distobuccal canal are little bit thinner than the palatal canal so your palatal canal you should prepare till 4.25 or 6.20 or even 6.25 so for in order to for your convenience i am going to prepare all the canals with 4.25 so you will have an idea now again i'll irrigate final irrigation not final but before the final file so all the three canals now have irrigated so now I have put the 4.25 file as you can see and my tooth is also ready so little bit of application of VDTA putting inside the parallel canal once take it out again into the musical and canal once take it out distribuable canal put it inside take it out so now i again irrigate it with the 4.25 file all the canals have been prepared now i'll show you the obturation how to go about the obturation how to mix the cement sealant so we again finally irrigate with sodium hypochlorite so now you can see all the three canals have been prepared very nicely uh, one is the palatal canal one is the distribal canal and one is the mesobuccal canal so all the individual canals now after irrigating with sodium hypochlorite 5% now we have to irrigate little bit EDTA solution and then we have to introduce the paper points to make the canal dry so now we have inserted the paper points to make the canal dry and uh, so that we can obturate it properly so here I am using 4% 20 paper points because we have prepared the canal only 4% 25. So now we have proceed with the obturation. So now we have prepared the tooth. We are using this seal apex sealant. This is the base and catalyst. And now we will open it. So a little bit of base. And this was the catalyst. This is the base. So catalyst you have to use little bit lesser amount. Now we just mix it uniformly.
so now i have coated the can jigata paka before doing on the patient you have to take a final x ray for the patient so here i am just coating the So now I have placed all the gutta parkas into the canal and we will take an x-ray of the tooth. So this is the IOP of the tooth in which we have done the RCT. So you can see the canals are well prepared. So now we have checked in the x-ray that the obturation is fine. So we will move on with the final obturation. We will just heat the end of the gutta parka and uh, we have to take a uh, this uh, burner like this usually in the beginning you can consider by doing one gp at a time but here i'll show you all the three gp together so here so one gp obdurated So while doing the obturation, be very careful with the patient so that your this ball burnisher doesn't touch the mucosa of the patient and just press it little bit and henceforth the obturation of this tooth is complete. Now you can fill this tooth with composite or glass inova cement and uh, then wait for 3-4 days or a week before giving the crown of the tooth. So in this way, we finish with the root canal of the upper molar teeth. Thank you and have a great day.